What's up YouTube? Today's video, let's talk about the lag that's been plaguing this server. It's been getting from bad to worse recently. I remember like well, when it was white streak mayhem just a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month and a half ago, the latency was actually pretty decent, right? There can be meaningful and valuable PvP fights and experiences. I averaged uh, a latency of about 230 back then and it's decent, okay, for someone who is not staying in Europe. And as the weeks go by, the figures went up to about 270, 280 sometimes, and it's still okay. Not I mean not optimal, but all right. Now, as of last week, my lag has actually gone past 300, and frankly speaking, PvP is just fucking unplayable at this current latency. Uh, my streaks are not going off. My vigor is not going off. There are. A lot of situations where the PvP battle is determined by margins. If you are a PvPer, you would know in this game. In situations where you get attacked by, let's say, the fate cover from the Arcanist, right? Or you get ambushed by the Nightblade by incapacitating strike. And more recently, there's this insidious bow gang build that goes around shooting poison arrows. I get one shot immediately. I have no time to react. There is no way. I can have a fight at all because I, the Vigor doesn't respond, my roll dodge doesn't respond, what else am I expected to do? And it's come to a point where I'm, I think I'm just stopping ESO until the latency issue gets fixed and I get below 300. I log on, I see the bottom left hand figure, the number, if it's in red, more than 300, I'll log off straight away. It's just not fucking worth my time. And I have checked all things on my end, right? My router, my Ethernet uh, cable. And all these things are okay and more importantly my other online games are actually functioning properly my ping is fine for all the other games it's just something to do with the servers that eso employ a fucking blind sloth can react faster than their servers for a while when they sort of like re replace their old servers we are getting pretty good performance i don't know what's the reason why we're getting this kind of garbage lag right now all over again and it's not just imperial city I thought that maybe it's it's localized to a certain instance. So when I try Battleground, because I, I need to get some more transmute stones um, to change my build and stuff. So I tried Battlegrounds recently, right? And I tried Dungeons as well, and it's just as bad. In the PvE context, uh, above 300 latency is not life-changing for, for me, lah, because I just do normal dungeons just to get transmute stones, right? But I, I can imagine for the people who are doing thralls, if you have a certain DPS you're supposed to hit, this kind of latency will not allow for that. And Battlegrounds is just as bad without champion points. With this current latency, basically it's just I'm going in to get slaughtered. So I don't know man, after 10 years and, and a company with a AAA title still cannot fix a bread and butter issue like this, it speaks a lot about you know where this game is going and speaks a lot about perhaps some of the people who are running the show i would like to hear your opinions though i mean that's the whole purpose of this video sorry for if the rant lasted a little bit too long i just need to get it off my chest if you are from anywhere outside of europe are you experiencing the same kind of issues and problems as i am if you're from malaysia from singapore from indonesia thailand or maybe from australia in the oceanic regions is your latency going from like 29 something two to three weeks ago to over 300 as of last weekend are you facing the same issue and what are you doing about it do you have a solution or, or is exit lag going to be the staple to go along with ESO? i'm trying to cut costs recently right i lost a couple of jobs so i'm i don't have the budget to go and pay for exit lag on top of the other things that that I'm paying for right now. So to me, that's a no-no. I'm not going back to exit lag subscription. I'm just going to stop playing ESO as long as this problem persists. But for the rest of you what are some of your solutions and are you even facing this problem at all? I don't know. And if you're from Europe, right, is your latency significantly worse off as of last weekend? Cause that's where I noticed the latency going from white to red from 28 something, 283 to currently right now which is 330 for me 350 sometimes even so do share with me in your comments i think more so is just to find out using this platform and channel just 
what the hell is going on, man? Right? I I do recall for a while back when I used exit lag. The thing about exit lag is it, it states the region of the ZOS ESO server in which you are connected to to play the game. And I am connected to the Frankfurt server for the longest time. That's why it's indicated in the exit lag panel. And for a while, it changed from Frankfurt to um, Beijing. And my connection and playability actually improved significantly. I, I actually went below 200 for the first time. Then this with the help of exit lag, of course. Right. And after a while, it stopped being at Beijing, it went back to Frankfurt, so I, I was like back to 216, 205 with exit lag. Without exit lag, it's about 230, 240. Yeah, so I don't know man, if there are exit lag users out there, maybe you can throw some light onto this. Anyway, yeah, I think this rant has gone off far enough, I think it should just put an end to it. I will not be playing ESO anymore until the situation gets better, which is a shame because I actually am in the midst of trying to further refine my Maxsoc build, but it seems like, yeah, in this case is it's just not worth the time and effort, all right? I hope you're having a better day than me. Anyway, it's just me signing out. Good day, everyone, and take care, right? See you.